Health, I think, is doing quite a lot of work to help improve the experience of Indigenous people accessing the health service. There's been some things happening for a number of years, but particularly in the last couple of years, um, Alfred Health was involved in a big review with other local agencies to work out what we could do to improve the experience and increase access to health services for Aboriginal people. One of the things that's come out of that is the reforming of the Alfred Health Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Health Advisory Committee. Through this committee, they, there's a more of a holistic approach towards my people, which will help in the reconciliation process. We're developing a whole lot of things to actually um, strengthen our partnerships with the community. So we're really making sure we get out there and we engage with the community. We understand what they want. Um, they really tell us what we need to do to make it better for them. They're putting around Aboriginal uh, artefacts and, and such around the building to you know, get a more friendly you know, Indigenous environment. And that's both a physical environment and a social environment. So um, the presence of um, artwork, um, plaques at the um, hospital entrances that uh, acknowledge traditional elders, flags on display, um, th that is a, that's really key apparently in, in making the community feel that this is a place where they can come and be welcome and feel safe and that their culture's recognised. Um, there's two Alfred Health Aboriginal hospital liaison workers. Um, that, that, those positions have gone from half-time to two full-time positions in the last couple of years, which is fantastic. Here at Caulfield Community Health Service, we also have an Aboriginal liaison access worker. So, and, and they're all what we call identified positions. So um, Aboriginal people are employed in those positions to help um, uh, strengthen that link with the community, they're our liaison with the community and they support staff to know how to engage with the community and how to respond to the community and, and they um, support us in building our, our responsiveness. And they've introduced some really practical on the ground things, um, providing orientation, just having staff wear um, Aboriginal flag badges um, is quite powerful, talking about where we should have artwork and that sort of thing, they've done done some really practical things. But no, I think Alfred approaches has been like a true, I said, like to the advisory committee, so, you know, this is a more holistic approach, whereas uh, I don't think any other uh, general hospital, uh, general hospital has that, that sort of structure in place. My role is in service development, working with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities to increase um, access to respite services. Well I guess what we uh, acknowledge, our organisation, is that caring in the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community um, differs from mainstream in the sense that in mainstream it may be a husband or a wife or a brother, sister or a friend that's caring for um, the person who needs that um, special care, whereas in the Aboriginal community it's caring for the whole community. Recently we had two carer retreats, health and wellbeing retreats, and that involved um, one retreat going to Lawn, and we also had a second retreat that um, took place in Point Lonsdale. So the retreats really are about acknowledging carers and the role of carers and the fact that they need some time out, but also making sure that it's culturally appropriate um, to uh, the people who are attending the retreat. So it's all about promoting health and wellbeing and, and acknowledging that the role of the carer is a pretty constant and um, challenging role and um, particularly the elders in the community just really making sure that we um, look, after, look after them. Mm -hmm.